Before everything else, God existed, totally fulfilled, completely satisfied, with perfect love, and no need for anything or anyone else, and he paints onto this blank canvas a universe. And onto one of the planets in this vast universe, he places a man and a woman. And with the specific intention of enjoying and glorying in his creation, he pours himself and his love into a relationship with mankind, with us. And even when his creation turns away and goes after things other than perfect communion with the God who created them, the Bible says God so loved the world that he gave. And what he gave is himself. I'm actually not here to say I've got this brand new amazing album that's going to do something catastrophically different than all the other musicians out there who are making worship albums. But what I'm doing is, is being obedient to something that I believe that God has called me to and really has called my family to. It started with us praying to God that he would lead us and me into a project that would bring about the glorification of God, uh, encouragement to the church, and really bringing hope to all people. We didn't realize really any kind of timeline. Um, we just hunkered down and prayed. And I really feel like God gave us this idea of Him being extravagant. What evokes worship, at least in me, is that God is totally completely crazy in his love and he's crazy in his glory and beauty and his creativity and I wanted to capture that in an album and that's all we knew after praying for like a month or two worship I think in a lot of ways church sometimes we think worship is when we sing the songs before the pastor gets up to preach the message but in my opinion and when I look at the Bible and I read what it is to be a follower of Jesus Christ worship is the response that we have to what God has done in our lives so that plays into every area of our lives you know, if we look at the extravagant love of God in giving of himself he didn't just send a, a gift down to earth, but he stepped off of his throne. The one who created us, even though we walked in the opposite direction from him, he stepped off of his throne to come and chase our souls so that he could have a relationship with us. When we see that, and that takes root in our lives, we live differently, and that's worship. So here's how it works. Here's what your money will go towards. We have to package the CD, duplicate it, promote it, distribute it, and the most important thing to me, bring the music to you. My desire, my goal with Extravagant God is to do so much more than make a CD or play a concert. I want to inspire worship in you, in me, in the community of believers that we interact with, that we would all together look to our extravagant God and live our lives in response to his love for us. So pray that we can do all that God wants us to with this project. Like us on Facebook and give to the campaign if you can. Thanks, God bless you, and I look forward to partnering with you.